What is up? I'm Wanna Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon opening. We are doing some more Cosmic Eclipse packs. The things we're looking for right now are some more Reshiroms and our first Charizard breaks in. I guess the fact of going Charizard hunting is a permanent state <laughs> as far as collecting Pokemon cards go. We have still yet to pull a single Charizard breaks in, and that is one of the decks I would like to try. And very soon we might start going to leagues. I'm trying to figure out which LGS I want to start attending there, but uh, once we get going, I do think we can build a Malamar deck, very similar to what we play in PTCGO, but I do want to have other options, um, kind of like a Reshiram and maybe a Charizard one, mixing Reshizard and maybe uh, Charizard breaks in tag teams into the mix. So here we go with our first pack. We have Lily's Full Force, Ends Resolve, we got all the, the special trainers for powered up attacks, Teddy Ursa. Nosepass, Litleo, Flabebe, Sveal, a Coughing, and then, oh my god, <laughs> alright, we're done, <laughs> that was much easier than I was expecting, so this seems to be the um, most expensive card right now, especially the Rainbow Rare, but maybe that's just a Charizard effect, this card is, it sounds really, like, wow, that's really good, but um, I feel like I haven't seen it do too much, at least online yet, or I feel like uh, the Malamar matchup is pretty good against it. Same thing for Reshiram, to be honest. And I think it's just because it only does da damage to the active. And anytime you're like that, there's no way to attack the bench without using like Great Catch or anything like that. Um, kind of puts at a disadvantage against Giratina or Giratina Malamar. But here we have Br Brilliant Flare for 180. So not that high for 4 energy, but does have a great effect of search your deck for 3 cards and put them into your hand. And Crimson Pillar... Flame Pillar. Attach five basic energy cards from your discard to your Pokemon any way you like. If this has one extra energy uh, attached to it, uh, your opponent's active Pokemon is burned and confused. So that secondary part is like, eh. But uh, I have seen people try to, basically they use Dedene, turn one, and then use uh, their GX right away to set up so they can start attacking. And then Brilliant Flare will just make sure you always have plenty of cards to continue to um, keep the engine going. But uh, if you, barring that, and like, let's say you don't have a, a good Volcanion start, uh, I guess you still have Welder to get things going quickly, but um, I don't know, I wonder, maybe you have to mix in Reshizard and the Breaks in variety? But I feel like it's not great, but I definitely want to try it. So, alright, that was really awesome that we got our the card we are looking for on our first pack. Let's see, what else do we want? I guess if we really want to be greedy, let's go for that alternate art. Blastoise Piplup, that is definitely the one we want. Teddy Ursa, a Timpole is our reverse, and ah, no such luck, Swana. So, how is everyone feeling about Cosmic Eclipse? I'm still really liking it. I feel like it's very different, has... Alright, sorry about that. We did get a phone call, so... Had to talk on the phone for a little bit, but let's get back into it. <laughs> Obviously we lost, completely lost our train of thought, but let's get into the next pack. We got Beastite. Ooh, tag call, very cool. I'm trying to figure out what are good ways to mix this in. It did not occur to me that you could use that for tag team supporters. So now that card even got even better. It's not just limited to decks that run. There we go. Run tag teams. Whalerin. Wow, these cards are super miscut. And, you know, reading through comments, a lot of people are saying the same thing. I wonder what this will mean, especially when it comes to PSA stuff. So I feel like there's either two outcomes, either the next, like another print run will happen. Um, maybe that'll be based on the demand for this set. But, and maybe it will be corrected then, or just like PSA 10 cards will be just hard to come by. I feel like both of them are kind of interesting because it means like this initial wave where people are excited for the set will be or if it was the first situation then obviously like uh you know we won't see it for a while and it'll kind of come later on stoutland uh, we pulled a bunch of these in the alternate art character rare Ooh, we haven't pulled a character rare yet <laughs> we're usually pulling those left to right uh but or that there isn't a second print or it never gets corrected and then you know there's just very difficult to get a perfect 10 as far as centering goes I kind of like the idea of the second one better, because then it's like, oh man, this guy, it's a good card, a uh, popular card, and it's perfectly centered. So I was like, okay, this is a, this might be a keeper. We have a Passimian, Relit, 
feel like this focus is way all over the place today. Leap up. All right, hopefully that stabilizes the focusing a little bit. Actually, it does seem better. Now it seems like it's auto-focusing. Hope that wasn't affecting earlier in the video. Whoa. All right, scroll. Golette is our reverse. And then Empoleon. All right, so far this is a pretty rough opening. And these are from a sealed booster box. So between our last video, this one, and the next one, we should be getting kind of like regular booster box rates. But uh, yeah, so if you get something good that uh, might be worth grading, especially when it's centered nicely, uh, maybe keep a, keep on keep a hold of that one. All right, let's see. Golduck, Pangoro, Heracross. Oh my gosh, the centering. Let's focus. Passimian, Jangmo, Rowlet, Scrope, Pikachu. Ooh, there is a character. Ooh, and this one does look pretty centered. So maybe this is one we're definitely going to set aside for PSA. Put it in a card saver. Ooh, Lunala. This is our first one of this as well. Blessing of the Moon. Once in your turn, if you have Sogaleo in play, you may search your deck for up to two energy cards, attach them to your Sogaleo or Lunala any way you like. I like the idea of kind of like two cards just pairing off with each other, but the rest of this card just feels very weak. It is a stage two and beyond the ramp, like Luna Blast just does 130. So that I'm not crazy about. And, uh, but I'm very happy to get this character rare. I believe we have most of them at this point. Actually, no, can we grab a penny sleeve for this one as the centering is nice. So we'll prep this guy for PSA. Very nice. All right, we still got plenty of packs. As always, guys, if you do want to support the channel, hit that like button. And uh, if you're not already sub, sub and bell for notifications. Really appreciate that. Here we go. Fire Energy, Rapidash, Roxy, Professor Oak. Oh, I do feel like the focus is a little bit better. Temple, Piplup, a Cosmog, Ponyta. Jolteon is our reverse, and then Sylveon, a lot of evolutions. Ah, if you haven't caught one of our streams yet, we do. We will be streaming regularly Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, and then the rest of the days. Uh, there's a small chance, but uh, that we will stream. But it's kind of unlikely. But certain days will just be available. But Monday, Tuesday, Thursday will be our regular schedule, usually from 7 p.m. to like 9:30 or so. Rope Tom into Trevenant. Oh, there is a pretty cool um, that new box that released not too long ago. Trevenant and Dustmore tag team. Some very interesting decks out there that kind of use like Mischievous to get that thing ramped up pretty quickly, suiciding the Mischievous to get all the cards. And you can get Trevenant going very quickly. Vaporeon, Absol, and then it's kind of like discarding your cards. Stuffle, Rowlet, Phantump, Magnemite, a Lillipup. Ooh, Mimikyu. Oh, if this was the other Mimikyu. Oh, man, this one's very centered, too. All right, we're getting good character rares again and well centered. But, uh, yeah, if this was the other Mimikyu, it would have been, like, three times as cool. Although, I do like this one as well. All right, we have three packs left. Not doing too well in the ultra rare department. And try to think, have we pulled a secret rare or anything like in the first part of the box? I don't think so. Araquanid, draw energy. I like this card. Unidentified fossil. Eevee. Flabebe. Sneasel. Natu. Oh, I haven't seen Zatu in uh, PTCGO yet. Sunflora. But there has to be a way to use that card, right? It's so strong. All right, two packs remaining. I would say this was a below average opening so far. Hopefully we can turn it around. Here we go, we got Dark Energy, Baleba and Bryson Man, Abapom, 
Laura's fishing rod, Lana's fishing rod, Ponyard, a Togedomaru, Trap Inch, Flabebe, Tangela, a Decidui, and then the babies, Tag Team Babies. Alright, we'll take it. So we did get two tag teams, two character rares. Final pack. Let's get something good. I feel like something with texture. That's what we want. Can we do it? On to our last pack. Fire Energy. Pangoro. Lily's Pokedoll. Dragonome Z. Oddish. Rufflet. Piplup. A Vulpix. Rockruff. Pyroar is our reverse. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'm Wanna Turtle. And we'll catch you guys next time.